Okay, we've made it back to the main mansion area. Um, do, 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 and I want to go to... Second floor, I guess. And, yep, yeah, alright, so let's get back to the main... Main foyer area. Don't get stuck on things. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. All right. All right. This may be our last trip here as well. If I get if I get the last head, then this will be my last trip here because I don't think there's anything else left to do in this main area. We can just concentrate on the dungeon. There we go. Save that and go to the second floor. It's time to turn in our wardrobe key. I think that's the only other wardrobe. I could always check the map and see if I've forgotten anything, which is great. Okay. In we go. There we are. Wardrobe key. And... Hi. Well, you've got a head for me. That's great. Chainsaw Psycho. It's the crazy psycho with a chainsaw that attacked you in the basement. He is peering at you from inside the bloody wardrobe with a manic smile on his face. He doesn't seem to be hostile at the moment. Uh... Yeah, he's just dot dot dot. Just ellipses. Um... Head of a middle-aged woman. Oh, that's the waifu. Okay. The lady of the house. Got head from middle-aged woman. Cool. You alright? Yep, he's, he's good. I'm just gonna turn this into the scary monster guy then. That's also on the second floor. Let me just check my map for things though. Uh, don't wait left. Old clock. Uh, we've done all of that. Shooting gallery. Put the coins in. Impaled body. Mixing station. King's bus, the basement is all probably done. Elevator, there's the hole. We've only just started the dungeon, so yeah, I believe we're actually done with the mansion area. Just, I'll just, I'll just go. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. Hi! <laughs> I'm just gonna go now. Alrighty then. Uh, that was eventful. Oh, and in order to get to where we need to go with the heads, I'm just gonna have to cross a, uh, through here. That's easy. Okay. What happens when I give him all the heads, though, I wonder? Uh, where's Mr. Heady Boy? Oh, he's over there where the club key is, I remember. Okay. At least enemies don't respawn. That's one small mercy. I was expecting this place to be full of cultists about now. Maramux Inferorux. Oh, hello. I've got your heads. Offering tray. Offerings to the creature in the hole can be placed on this tray. All right. There's the insane woman, the head of an insane woman. Even in death, she has a manic smile on her face. Here you go, you take Angela. Done. Head of middle-aged woman. The head of a middle-aged woman, her ghastly expression alludes to the horrific manner of her death. And finally, our first head. The one of the lady there. The head of a young woman, her expression is eerily peaceful. Excellent. A small favour. Achievement unlocked. Excellent, you have brought me three beautiful female heads. Please wait a moment while I fetch your reward. Mmm, lovely lady heads. I'll have fun with these later. Here, you take this. Oh, better not be a fucking trick. Thank you for the head, stranger. Please enjoy your reward. Okay. Oh, no, it's open. Oh, what have we got? Health pickup. Health pickup. Ammo for Magnum. And holy water. The fuck is that? Thank you for the head, stranger. Ah, uh, holy water. Let's see, a flask filled with water that has been blessed... Oh, a flask that's filled with water that's been blessed with holy power. Can be thrown to produce a divine explosion that deals massive amounts of damage to the unholy creatures of the nightmare. Me likey. Let's see. So it's just like a grenade. You only get two holy water vials. Better save these for a boss, maybe. 